My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism. Now he enriches you and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage and mutual lasting fidelity. Frank, you've been such a happy blessing in Michelle's life and a great addition to our family. Thank you for embracing us in our crazy ways, loud laughter, and endless eating. I appreciate your thoughtfulness, kindness, and most especially the sweet way you care for and love Michelle. Michelle, I'm so glad that you're my sister now. I've always wanted one. I've, um, you're so beautiful and your smile could always brighten the room. You've made Frank the happiest I've ever seen. You're so loving and caring. I know that you two will take great care of each other. I'm so glad that you are officially part of our family. Speaking of mandates, Frank was an amazing movie date. That is, if you like somebody who snores and drools all over your shoulder while you're enjoying your popcorn and watching the movie. Frank, I'm so happy for you, and I'm, I'm uh, happy to be here to celebrate this moment, amazing moment in your life. In marriage, in the vows, it's a total self-gift. I give myself totally, not 95%, not 50-50, now it's a recipe for disaster. It's total, total self-gift is what you do today. I wished for you. So Frank and Michelle, they met on Memorial Day, May 29th, 2011. Frank the Tank was going out with a group of friends, as usual, to Eden Rooftop in Washington, D.C. The usual. So their friends, they were planning for these two to meet. You are the light of, you are the light of, you are the light of my life. A group of us went to a rooftop club with Tara and her friends. One of them was the beautiful and deadly Michelle. We were all dancing by the balcony of the rooftop and Michelle accidentally dropped something and it fell onto the balcony ledge. This couldn't feel more right. You are the You guys know Pip? You guys might not know this, but Pip was actually the one that made those two come together. Because at the party, Pip came up to Frank and in Pip fashion to encourage him, he said, Frank, if you don't like her, I'ma go after her. So that pushed him, you know? He's like, oh, I'm not letting Pip get her. I'm gonna do it. Frank kept on telling me that she was the one. Now I've gotten to know Michelle, and I have to agree, there couldn't be a better woman for him. Michelle, welcome to the family. We're so happy that Frank found his soulmate. Please know there's a strict no return policy. You have him. <laughs> and yes, he'll play beer pong until he can't throw a ping pong ball anymore. There's a jet stream. And this is again what St. John Paul told us. The more I give myself, the more I find myself. And you've realized this as you've grown in your love for each other. The more you give of yourself and sacrifice for each other, the more you find yourself. The actually, the more joy that you have. And this is what our Lord wants each of us to have in our own vocations, whether it be single life, married life, consecrated life. You got no You got no Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. 
when you're outside my door Cause out of everywhere I'll go Out of everywhere I've been You're my favorite continent I'd like to share a story about how Frank and I met. It was year 2000, my sophomore year of high school. I was playing wingman for my friend High. She was new to high school and didn't have a date for homecoming. I noticed this tall guy with big ass lips standing around. So I asked him on her behalf. He said yes, High got a date, and Frank and I became the best friends ever after. Oh, sweet angel. You're the brightest constellation you You're right there with me during our striped t-shirt slash pink traveling tea phase. Our summers spent working on our Mishmello and Ricalicious websites. And of course, our epic life talks that have kept us up until the sunrise. To find I've been looking I couldn't have picked a more perfect person for Michelle than you. Frank's a great chef. He's wonderful with kids, values family, and most importantly, wants nothing more than to make her happy. And that makes this protective older sister smile. I'm blessed to be gaining another awesome brother. So last year, Frank proposed at National Harbor, he surprised her. Um, he had, there's a YouTube video out there, so you guys should look it up, it's actually pretty cute. Um, and, but Frank said something very profound in that video. He said, you can't find love, love finds you. That's very true. And they both fulfilled each other's childhood dreams. Frank always wanted to find a Filipino wife who was a nurse, very specific. And Michelle always wanted to find a tall Vietnamese guy who went to JMU. Are we in a dream? Will we awaken to reality? Maybe. I also admire her for always putting so much effort and dedication in everything she does. Be it saving lives in the ICU, being a daughter, a godmother to Julia, a sister and a friend to many. I know that she will assume her new role as a wife in the same way she does everything in life. And this makes you, Frank, a very lucky man. Your generous heart and kind soul are just some of the things I admire so much about you. You truly exemplify your middle name, Grace, in everything you do and all that you are. Your caring nature and sweet persona are contagious, and anyone who has been graced by your presence can't help but smile and feel loved. Be my wife and Frankie, I know that you are my overprotective older brother and I thank you for always looking out for me. Thanks for always being there for me and watching out for me. I'm glad to have a brother like you and I'm blessed to have these two wonderful people in my life. We can make love, we can make history, somewhere in between. When we were finally old enough to drink, we started partying at clubs, which unfortunately caused Frank to develop very unconcerning habits. One of which, to the dismay of every club owner in DC, is his obsession to dance on couches.
people would be at the bar or on the dance floor, you could always count on Frank to be standing on the nearest couch doing this weird dance where he points to the people in the crowd as if he's Usher and he's shouting out to his fans. Something like this. You just always made the good times more fun and the not so good times easier to deal with. We stood by each other through both the hardest and best years in our family's life, sharing tears, laughter, and a whole lot of hangovers. You're the most caring, thoughtful, generous, and honest person I know. Maybe a little too honest, but we love that about you. It's through our life experiences that our hearts have been broken, grown stronger, and ultimately led us to where we are tonight. Here to celebrate your forever love with Frank. Though we were very concerned about his odd habits, I could truly say that Frank has always been a friend and someone I could rely on. He's always there for me, kind of like the State Farm people. Like a good best friend, Frankie is there! <laughs> Frankie became so much like family that he had his own futon in my brother's room. I consider him family and I'm forever grateful to have Frank as a friend and a brother. You really are the epitome of a gentleman and the love of her life. Combined with her beauty, charm, and many other endearing qualities, Michelle and you make an awesome dream team. So tonight, we toast to dreams coming true and a lifetime of happiness and love for you both. I love you guys. Cheers. Frank and Michelle make such a fantastic couple, together and individually so deserving of each other. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Yeah.